It's a gold, like an S rank and a gold medal. So I think we're gonna leave it there for the next cutscene that's gonna come up shortly. This only proves you were created to stop Shadow, the ultimate life form. Don't tell me you didn't know. You may have been programmed by humanity, but what you did to Shadow in the future, that was your... <laughs> what just happened? Shadow. The one that defeats and seals you in the future is me. It's... it's so unfair. Shadow's always here to defend the world. Despite that... Eventually, when something or someone is seen as too powerful... It is seen as a threat. And then the world becomes its enemy. Shadow? Even if you believe everyone in the world will be against you, know that I'll always remain by your side. Remember that. I will. So we just peeked through an uh, interesting um, talk just um, during the cutscene that we were just talking about. So what was that about? Well, uh, Omega revealed to Shadow that he is the one who seals him into the future and defeats him. So, uh, honestly, I'm not quite sure what is going on. This is where I was confused six years ago. <laughs> I thought it was like, um, that this present was going to go on, but like, it was still the same dimension, but um, they already knew what was going to happen in the future, but I didn't know that Omega sends him to the future. No, Omega defeats him in the future. And it's the reason why he sealed away when those messages shows him when they were in the future. Before. But how does um, Omega know how to defeat Shadow? I thought the only person that should defeat Shadow should be Sonic. Um, I'm not sure. Omega is a mystery to me. Um, as far as why he's such a significant robot. You know, he's number 123. That's true. Um, 
he probably is the most powerful in the E series, but we've also seen like an E2000, you know, in Sonic Heroes. The gigantic E battleships. <laughs> That's yeah. Form, so I'm not sure why he's so significant. Maybe there's more to this particular robot than yeah. yeah, because that. This whole um, Sonic 06 uh, Let's Play, we haven't seen much of Omega doing much other than um, locating Shadow and um, holding off Mephiles for a while. And you would probably think now that because Omega can um, defeat Shadow, that you would be thinking that Omega should be a main character of the franchise, just like Shadow. I think that Omega is a main character. Um, or I, th I think that he was intended to be. I, I don't think it was executed in recent years, but I think eventually we'll probably see him again. Okay, cool. And we just completed another mini mission. Um, is that three mini missions we've done for Shadow, or is it two? I think it's three total so far. Okay, cool. So is another cutscene? No. Not yet. Alright, so we're going to head for the desert. And... Are we going to look for buried treasure there? Or are we looking for something else? We're looking for survival. We're going to get on another hovercraft. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite stage. And my favorite... Probably one of my... Well, no, no, no. I take that back. This is my favorite stage. This is one of my favorite stages. And definitely one of my favorite songs in the game, but um, definitely my most hated vehicle <laughs> with Shadow. <laughs> I wish we could have oh, just it, rolled the that same Is it, is it going to be the same one that we had in Ray Ocean? Yes. Yes, it is. Wow. It's pretty, it's pretty fancy then. How much did Shadow go and pay for that? Or did you just get it from the gun just for free? They probably gave it to him as an experimental um, suicide machine. <laughs> Mephilus appears to have headed for those ruins. He's probably looking for the Chaos Emerald that's supposed to be there. There's no doubt in my mind. His movement shows he's seeking any Chaos Emerald he can find. Supposedly, he needs one in order to join with Iblis again. I will seal him before that. So, apparently, there's two Omegas that you guys are saying? Yeah. So explain a bit more on that because I'm guessing everyone else wants to know why the two Omegas. If um, if nobody wasn't like really paying attention to the story anyway. Which most of them didn't. <laughs> when Ryu was in Tropical Jungle, she met up with the Omega, gave him a chaos and told him that Shadow will need help 200 years in the future. And then he accepted and then went off and did his own thing and waited for the moment to help Shadow. And after we beat Crisis City in the future, they found Omega in the ruins and they couldn't wake him up or nothing. And then when Shadow was fighting Mephiles, Omega shows up and says now is the time to help. And he had a chaos in the room. Very interesting. So two Omegas. Who would have believed that? Wow, that that makes perfect sense. You, you'd have to be a genius to, to kind of think about that. Omega is like he's in the present, but Rouge made him shut down until the future happens, and he's also in the future, but he came back to the present. Yeah, my head hurts. <laughs> Anyway, we 
dug right into dusty desert and we've seen your favorite vehicle of all time <laughs> like trash in the place and um, uh, following the moons and now we've actually found the hidden moon so are we trying to find Mephilus once and for all to see on him in um, the new sector of darkness yep we're trying to locate crystal meth and we're going to track him down and beat him up cool so you say crystal meth like it's I remember you told me a joke once I was like would you like to share out <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, his name is Mephilus. He's made out of crystal. I don't know what Sega was thinking when they created him, but, um, you know, Shadow can... Well, as we're gonna see, Shadow's gonna kind of melt him down, and it, it, it honestly looks like Shadow can, like, snort <laughs> crystal Mephilus. You need to back away from the mic a bit, there, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, he was yeah. getting a bit excited there, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> Crystal Bell, he's uh, one of my favorite villains. So, Crystal Meth is one of your favorite villains, and we are going to see him in his final form, like, throughout the final battle, so you must have remembered this um, battle a lot. Definitely. This is where we're going to see Shadow um, kind of come out of his shell, so to speak, and, and kind of just get down and dirty and get fed up with an, an enemy. He's never done that before. Yeah. So what movesets will this new Crystal Mephilus have, um, apart from the old Mephilus that we battled earlier? Earlier, um, we saw him make copies of himself, but you can, you can really tell which ones were fake. And, um, he honestly didn't have much control over his copies. We're gonna see a direct duplicate of him in the next battle. Okay, cool. So, we're back with Omega and we're seeing more of Omega. So now he's having a much more larger role in the last part of Shadow Story. And is he gonna be a huge help for defeating Crystal Mephilus at the end as well? Nope, the final fight with Mephilus is strictly Shadow versus him. Okay, cool. So it seems that Shadow's geared up his huge final strength to actually take Mephilus down once and for all. But will he do it? That's really the question. We'll find out. So, with this dusty desert, is that it's pretty much um, the one that we've seen from Silver that Shadow's um, taken down the early world but he was outside the pyramid first before going into the ruin and Omega's taking the role of Amy part with um, this um, part of like jumping on the platform and getting up into the final door so was there any idea of actually making much of it different except for the beginning part or is it going to be more different parts nearby the end of the stage? That is a good question. Um, I'm not sure. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, the level is pretty much the same. Is it? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Um, of course, there's no puzzle or anything. Um, but yeah, the Omega kind of mimics the part that Amy had. Whereas uh, Sonic is making Shadow's part, but um, Shadow also has the outside part, like you were saying. Uh, it would have been yeah. cool if they would have thrown uh, Rouge in here, you know, since this is the climax stage. Oh yeah, that's very true, cause since that Rouge is following them anyway. Right. But more to um, Omega's moveset as well, like, um, he has the same type of animation that Rouge does. like. He would have to shoot his missiles or bombs at people when he's standing still. So was that the creator's idea, intention to actually um, shoot beams and missiles when he's standing, like in a standing animation? Um, judging by Omega's past, I'm gonna say yes because in Sonic Heroes, even though it was kind of the the move set of heroes in general this is for all the power based characters but he stood still before he shot his little missiles or or 
his little explosions, you know, whatever they were. Um, whereas well, Gama, he did have, like, uh-huh. he did have um, what's it called? Um, his fist and punches. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whereas Gama, he could shoot lasers like, you know, on the go. Um, Omega was kind of more of a melee type of robot. He was kind of up close and personal. Is it because like they're trying to do standing animation here just because that like, there's more enemies around? Like probably back then with Gamma, there wasn't much enemies around and it was kind of more separated apart. But well, this part it's like you have a bunch of enemies, probably about five or six to defeat. That's why they need to put the standing animation in. Um I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they did that, you know, as a programming thing or if they tried to stay true to old Omega, but I mean, in contrast to Rouge, it, it could be a program thing, maybe they, they didn't have time to polish it up the way they wanted it to be, and just kind of, you know, threw something in there. Oh, cool. So, more about um, the scores, and we've got a large score, so does the score always add up from every action stage we play, like, throughout the whole Shadows game, or does it always reset to zero just because that there's always a score base at the end it definitely resets to zero in between stages um, so this huge score that we have here is just from shadows outside stage before he came inside the, uh, the um, compound here and then Omega you know his score is you know racking up because of all the enemies that he's shooting and all the combos that he's making yeah. It's pretty cool. So now we're back with Shadow. So how long left till this action stage is over with Shadow? Very much at the end. Well, I think. I don't know. Depends if I stop the video in the middle level or not. Okay. So we've seen this um, either before that sand is coming and rising towards them the characters now each character has different movesets that she avoid the sand so which character do you guys think that was the best that